mean, you're up there climbing super hard moves, 2,000 feet off the ground, sleeping on the wall, having this great adventure, and it's, it's historic. It's what people have been doing for decades. It's a benchmark achievement, and I want to have that for myself. Unbelievable. A rock climber from Colorado has become the first woman to free climb El Capitan in under 24 hours. Emily Harrington is the fourth person ever to do so and the first woman. And she's with us this morning to tell us more about it. Good morning and congratulations. Good morning. Thank you. Well, from that video, that does not look like one second of fun at all. Uh, why do you, is it fun for you or is it more of a spiritual thing or is it just a goal that you're trying to reach? Why do you do it? Yeah, so I've been, I've been climbing for 23 years. Um, it's my passion and it's my career. Um, and also just to clarify, I was the first woman to climb, free climb Golden, uh, the Golden Gate route on El Cap, not the first woman to free climb El Cap. There's been other women. Oh, I so see. Just to clarify that. Yeah, we don't know what we're um, talking about. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's my it's uh, it's something I've been doing since I was ten years old, um, on all different styles and all over the world, and I love the challenge of it. And it's uh, something that's taught me a lot about myself. Does it ever does it become fun for you, as as Larry said, or is it just you are just driven for a challenge to do something that you haven't done? Yeah, I mean, of, of the process of finding a challenge and working towards it is always fun. I mean, I think that's why humans do hard things. Um, there's definitely some level of enjoyment there. It might not always be, um, like, really obvious. Um, but I think a lot of times after it's over, you look back on it and you're like, wow, that was a really amazing experience. Do you get scared? Yeah, I do get scared. And for me, it's a lot about working through that fear and understanding that fear and understanding why I have that fear. Um, the style of climbing I do is actually quite safe. You can see in the videos I'm using a rope. Um, so if I fall, I get caught by the rope and um, most of the time everything is completely fine. And What's the so rope actually, attached to? The rope is attached to me and attached to another person, uh, my belayer, and then they they hold the rope when I fall. Oh, wow. And so you, you sleep attached to that to that mountain yes um sometimes i do this past time i actually didn't i climbed it in under 24 hours so i just went from the ground to the top but most people sleep on the wall yeah so wow. what does it teach you about yourself i mean i think it teaches me what i'm capable of and what my potential is and it teaches me where my limit is and i think a lot of times as humans we we strive for comfort and we strive to not be afraid and I think a lot of times when we're in those uncomfortable fearful situations we learn more about ourselves we more learn more about what what types of strengths we have um, we learn what we're passionate about we learn what makes us feel alive and I think that that's super important as a human what is your next big challenge what do you want to do next um, right now I'm just sort of enjoying <laughs> enjoying uh, my home and uh, I'm going to go rock climbing again next week so right. but just a little bit smaller shorter cliff yeah <laughs> take a break take a break you <laughs> earned it thanks Emily thank you thanks you Emily you can check out more of Emily's adventures on her website emilyharrington.com or you can follow her on Instagram at Emily Harrington unbelievable this would be another great segment for you a comfort challenge I couldn't How climb. comfortable could you be? <laughs> and then try and beat that record. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what that